Thomas Jane and Nicole Shamoon are back for season number two of Tropo on Prime Video. Thank you both so much for your time today. Hey, Pleasure. thanks for having us. The unlikely team is back together to solve a new murder. Uh, Thomas, let's start with you. Executive producer, you're directing a few episodes. I mean, this show is your baby. And it's very gratifying to have gotten another season out of it. And we had a great response to season one because the characters are so unique. And, you know, as a creator producer type of type of guy uh you know moving into kind of the second half of my career here getting behind the camera has been incredibly rewarding especially when you get to find and work with people like nicole um simon linden uh who plays twist in this uh thing it's just it's fantastic australian actors uh, and we and we get to work with uh with them and create, you know, of course, Candace Fox, who wrote the novels that this is based on, uh, is a terrific talent and she's getting uh, better and better known uh, at, from the show. And of course, just the books that she's cranking out. She's so, if you're a fan of mystery and crime, Candace Fox is a great place uh, to go for your uh, summer novel uh, this year. Yeah, I mean, this is based off of Redemption Point, which is the second book. There's several other books in the Crimson Lake series, so definitely go check them out as you're getting ready for the second season. Nicole, I want to chat with you, because I had heard that you were in Australia. Thomas was in Montana when season number one, when you were preparing for it. But because of the dynamic of the two characters, you weren't spending a lot of time together. Was that kind of the same process going into, into season number two? Uh, yeah. I mean, until we, until Thomas hit the ground in, in Oz, we, yeah, we, we hadn't seen each other, but um, we knew that the chemistry was there. I, tr you know, I trusted that it would, you know, that it would be back in full force um, and it was. So there's a level of excitement and, and anticipation without the nerve second season because that mm. chemistry already exists. Um, it's mm. there and, and I, we trust it, the two of us. Um, so it was just fun. I just couldn't wait to, to get to work. Uh, Thomas, let's talk a little bit about season number two, because, um, Tess is trying to go back to his normal life. He wants to sell, you know, has spent a little time with his daughter and you only get a couple of moments of that before kind of you get right back into it. Yeah. I mean, uh, trying to get back to the life that Ted once had is, is definitely a part of season two, you know, wants to make it figure out a way through uh with uh, rada mitchell who comes back to play uh my wife and um he, we had we had a lot to chew on in this season emotionally so and rada's a wonderful actor so we were very pleased to be able to get her into our world in this season where ted brings her up with uh, his daughter and for a little vacation, a little weekend, supposed to be just a little weekend with the kid. And of course, the, the the wife shows up as well, doesn't really trust Ted to be alone with his daughter for the weekend. That makes him feel great. Um, so a lot, of, a lot of emotional stuff happening, a lot of good stuff this year. And, and Nicole, with, um, with Amanda, there's a lot of emotions, a lot of things that we saw um, from her in season one. And I, the, the stakes are just even higher and we're seeing a lot more from her in, uh, in season number two. Yeah, I mean, where we leave her in season one uh, is kind of realizing that everything she thought was true about her life and who she was, was a complete lie. And so watching her navigate this new space and working out who she is without that um, was fun to play and explore. Like. Uh, I don't want to give it away. If you haven't watched season one, please go and watch. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, like without that, I did part of your identity. Who are you? And so that, um, yeah, just being able to like drop some of the walls, be a little bit more vulnerable, in invite some of the community in, in a weird, awkward, clunky way as Amanda does um, was fun. So much fun. Now, without giving too many spoilers away, um, obviously, season number one, lots of crocodiles, lots of big snakes, um, a lot of animals, you know, that we're going to see in the in the Queensland area. But season number two, tell us a little bit about what we might see and who got more of the scenes. I know, Nicole, you had a more the first season, number one. How was it split uh, in season number two? 
Look, there's some scenes with a King Brown that I will never forget. <laughs> <laughs> I got up close and personal with the King Brown snake. Uh, that was fun, and I'm very excited for the audience to see some of that stuff. Part of the great uh, thing about Tropo is it takes place in the far north Queensland, and it's just, you know, what they say about Australia is absolutely true. Every other animal can kill you uh, up there. <laughs> so we, we try to work that, we try to work those into the show <laughs> just for, just for fun. Yeah. And also fans, you know, who might be fans of, of the first season or, you know, maybe just coming into a brand new right now. I love the word Tropo because you know, here in, in the Chicagoland area, I mean, it's hot, it's humid, we get cranky, and we now there's a word for what that means. Yeah, so you get it. You get I, it. I, I got hangry before, and now Tropo. Yeah, I definitely get him. Yeah, you went Tropo. Yeah, it's <laughs> when, it's, it's when that, that humidity and the heat just kind of drives you nuts, right? And you're just about to blow your top. That's going Tropo. Mm-hmm. What an honor. But Thomas DeCole, thank you both so much for your time today. Season number two of Tropo coming to us July 25th on Prime Video.